Jet, back again. Or should I say, and la calatella. Si, du vuelta. Yeah, that's right. You're watching the best football series on YouTube that makes you wait about 10 to 14 days to see what actually went down. Yeah, I mean, we're so good at that. Got that down to a T. I don't think many of you saw the last video, so just in case. <laughs> Yeah, that was my trip to Haybridge Swift. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's in the playlist. Go and check it out. But yeah, from Haybridge Swift to an absolute giant. You've seen the title. You've seen the thumbnail. We're going to Barcelona. I can confirm this is the first international on the road ever. That's if you don't class Wales as international, which I don't. We're kind of, uh, we joined at the hip, you know. And to be fair, both of the teams we watch are actually playing England too. So yeah, definitely doesn't count. This is what it's about. I've always wanted to compare the English game to cultures abroad. I've been really lucky that the stars have aligned and uh, this one's popped up. Before we get into it, got another sponsor, didn't I? Yes, big shout out to this week's sponsor. It's Manscaped. Manscaped is the leader in below-the-waist grooming, and they've served around 4 million men. And if my maths is correct, that's almost... I'm not going to say exactly, but that's almost 8 million balls. And I'm here to tell you, you can get 20% off and free shipping when you use the code SMITH20 at manscaped.com. So the guys at Manscaped sent me the performance package 4.0, and... Um, I'm impressed. Listen, I'm a hairy guy. You know this. You can see this. And keeping trim is absolutely essential. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a wife. And this week, instead of using my normal trimmer, I opted for the Lawnmower 4.0. And immediately, I could see that it reduced the risk of nicks, ingrowing hairs, and other grooming accidents. On top of that, it's small, compact, and waterproof too, which is always a bonus. It's the best-selling product they do, and it will be at the top of every man's list this year. Inside, you'll also find the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Trimmer. And let's not forget their famous liquid formulations. We've got the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and we've got the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. These alone will help you maximize your ball hygiene. It's worth noting that these formulations are all vegan, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate-free and paraben-free. So you know their products are absolutely legit. And also, if you grab the performance package now, you get two free gifts. The Manscaped Boxers and Shed Travel Bag. So make sure you head over to their site. The link is in the description below, but it's manscaped.com. And you can get 20% off plus free shipping when you use my code SMITH20. So yeah, you currently see me driving at the moment down the A130. It's 4.30 in the morning. And we're off to Stansted, as is this coach on the left. And the A130 has actually brought me into Chelmsford. I don't know why. This is not the way to Stansted. But I've got to trust Satyas Navius, especially at R4 at the morning. Yeah, we've gone around this roundabout, spinning almost back on ourselves. But we've taken the A138. And my God, story checks out. Signs for Stansted Airport. Would you believe it? Here we are. Didn't take long. Then again, there's no one on the road. Yeah, back again, is there? I'm currently looking for the blue car park. It's the cheapest car park I can find. And just like that, I've arrived at the blue car park. That's a really satisfying sound, thank you. Definitely made paying 62 99 for parking that much easier. Moments later, I find a space, just in here. Squeeze! Now my friends, is it for the on the road bill. Cheers! An hour on the foot, yet back again where I, I'm not actually sure where I'm going. Where do I go? This is quite helpful, I found some tram lines with a man on it. I identify as a man, and up there it says, uh, terminal. That way, so I'm just gonna follow these signs. Just 540 minutes, seven minutes away. And Tracy down in front of the buggy has left Gavin here with all the bags. I feel sorry for him. He's wearing a bag, he's carrying a bag, he's pulling the bag, he's bag man. Terminal. I don't wanna die. And I find myself on an escalator. But it's good to see that job I got as a footprint model back in the day. It's still being used, look, perfect fit. Then Harry, I reach the top, we're in an airport. And I'll be skipping this. I've already checked in on the app, suckers. I won't be skipping this though. Security! Once I get searched, why don't we do the It's the top comments of the week. Matt Nail is chirped in fact of the week. I do love a fact. Steve Tilson, who was Haybridge Swift's manager, is the only manager in the world to have a 100% win record against Sir Alex Ferguson. It's impressive. Now, I didn't actually know that, but I do remember the game. It was South M1, Man United nil in the Carling Cup. Freddie Eastwood, ex Grace! My old manner, Grace Athletic. He steps up, free kick, boom. Dumps United out of the cup, doesn't he? Yeah, thanks, Matt. Loving the fact. Next up, we've got Keelan. Was he last week or the week before? I don't know. Maybe we need to do a, a, a top comments of the week standings. Yeah, Keelan says he can't wait for a future Spanish on the road. Here we are, mate. I wonder if there's a Spanish Charlie and a Spanish width restriction that nobody wants to go through. Now, I'm sure a lot of people would be saying, Where's Charlie? Unfortunately, can't make it. Even if he could have, I'd have bought the ticket, but I wouldn't have been able to afford the, the travel and uh, everything else around it. If only we had that long-term sponsor, eh? Shame. But the top, top, top comment of the week is Tubian Talks Footy. I beg the question, how the hell has Smith ended up at Barcelona a week after Haybridge Swifts? It's a lovely transition, I must agree, but keep on watching and you'll find out how. Yes, did it. Welcome back. Security went too bad, got through very quickly. And now I'm in a place where everybody loves. Well, I'm duty free. As I walk across this sparkly floor, you want some booze? You want some makeup? How about some booze? How about some parfum? I'd love to get toe blown. Well, duty free? I think it's the only place I sell it, innit? My crack trainers are coming with me to Spain, aren't they? Could I get some new ones? No, still too expensive here. Although I could save £11.67 on a Barcelona shirt. Mm, nah. There's only one Barcelona shirt I want. And there he is, the king. I will get my hands on this one day. I promise, I will. To so here, I join a load of other people waiting for a flight. Maybe I'll pass some of the time by eating. Found this place and just checked into my flight for tomorrow. Again, I won't be waiting around. So I've got a black coffee, a bit of tap water on the side, and eggs and salmon on 
toast. Didn't ask for the lemon, but it came to 14 pounds. Lovely stuff. My boarding gate is 84. Must dash. And as I wave my boarding pass and passport, I find myself walking outside to a plane. Ugh. And so at this moment, I reveal to the world that my middle name is, in fact, Alan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. On the plane! Not back again because it's the first time we've been on the plane in these videos. So uh, next time I go on a plane, I can say yeah, back again. But massive apologies to Ryanair, by the way. Uh, leg room's actually all right. They are often the butt of all jokes during these videos, but um, nah, leg room is surprisingly good. And just like that, we're taking off. I can confirm a return trip to Barcelona. Ugh. So it's back £253.62. Damn you, COVID. And damn the fact that last minute flights are just never cheap anymore. I've been told to study this card in front in case there is an emergency. But it's good to know if things do go wrong. I can scan that code and get a freshly brewed Leveza coffee. What a way to go. It was cloudy. It was grey. And uh, we're above the clouds now. And it's, uh, it's paradise out there. It's lovely. So at this moment, I realised I didn't actually download any music onto my phone. Rip. So I'm just going to get an hour or so sleep. And absolutely 100% confirm where we're going today. It's name. Barcelona. They were founded in 1889. They currently find themselves in La Liga. Where at the time of recording, they're in ninth. And their opponents, local rivals. Was a Spaniel sit in 11th. That's not normal. The ground we're visiting today is the new camp or the Camp New, which has a total capacity of 99,354. It's just like West Ham, it's massive. Following a bumpy landing, we eventually touch down in Spain. We're well, looking for the Salida. I've got no equipaje to pick up because I've traveled incredibly light. Look at that. I eventually reached passport control, where it's probably not a good place to film. I can confirm Matthew Allen Smith was allowed in the country, and I was immediately greeted with a breadway. No thanks. So we go through this revolving door. We step outside, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Barcelona. Ah, that's Mexican. That'll do. I love how seeing palm trees confirms that you're abroad. Although South End Seafront begs to differ. As I wait at Terminal T2, it's, um, is, is, is that a painting? A, a mural? Um, a mosaic? I don't know, but I've just been bundled into a car and we're going somewhere. It's times like this, I wonder why I live in England. I wouldn't mind spending my Saturday morning on the jet ski. Followed by a McDonald's, why not? I'm now back on the foot. I've come to a place called Soul Bar. Is it Mumo? I don't know. Where I'm having a black coffee and I can finally introduce you to the people that bundled me into the car. This is Borja. Hola. Hola. And also an old work colleague of mine from back in the day when I used to work at Apple is the Shinga. Hola. Hola, senorita. And don't forget the dog. This is Simba. Hey. Hola. So following coffee, is back in the car. Well, I shall explain. Sure, and my missus, she was flying over to see her good friend, the Shinga, you just met. In fact, we was all going to come over. Unfortunately, Zach, our eight month baby, just couldn't get his passport done in time. He had to cancel, but I still had a ticket to Barcelona. Yep, this place. We got all our money back for flights and accommodation. And then the Shinga and Borja offered their place to stay for the night, which was uh, golden. Saved a lot of money. So currently heading into Barcelona city centre, and this is it. Straight roads, up and down, and tall buildings either side. It's, it's, it's nice. Consider checking out the Plata España. We've got something to do. Something very important. And I'm route to doing that very important thing. I noticed Boris bikes are a thing. Spot the first Barcelona shirt in Barcelona. Would you look at that? Parking. It means one thing. On the foot. Yep, yeah, back again. But where are we going? Where could we possibly be going? It's this gaff. La Flauta. I think that's how you say it. As you can see, there's a little bit of a wait to get in. Why are we here? To try some of the best tapas in Barcelona. I've just seen the enemy, though. I really want to like olives, but I can't. I just can't like them. All this stuff, though. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll have it all, Mr. Chef. Thank you. We eventually sit down. And I get some calamari. We've also got some croquettes. More calamari, this time with peppers and fish. This was banging. Patatas bravas. Lovely stuff. Oh, just egg, bacon, and chips all mixed together. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Talking of food, I just remember Barcelona emailed me and recommended that I order food beforehand and pick it up because the queues are wild. This is the first time pre ordering my food. Let's go with the Catalan sausage. We're in Spain. No Dr. Pepper, though. Shame. Real shame. Back to the tapas. This arrived. This was like a camembert cheese with chopped nuts and jam on top. If this can work, then pineapple belongs on pizza. I don't agree with it, but this was lovely. And as a thank you for putting me up for the night, lunch is on me. That came to a Total cost of £56.44. And now it's back on the foot. We've been taking the culture. <laughs> And find a nice little spot outside for another black coffee. Borja's on the beer. Shingo's on the green tea. Javier's got his guitar out. We ended up spending the rest of the evening talking about ghosts and aliens. Uh, true story. We did. Uh, there was this one time I went downstairs and. Nah, another time. We've got a dash. I'm on the foot again. Back at the disco car park. And en route to, you guessed it, Camp New. We're definitely getting near as we see the red and blue in places. And eventually I'm dropped off at a hospital. All I've got to do is walk down there. So Shingo and Borja, thank you very much. I'll see you after the game. And so I walk in and it got me thinking these sort of places, when their earnings went down, where Messi left. In fact, we'll see anyone in a Messi shirt tonight. It's a great question, but crowds are building. <laughs> So as I climb these steps, I find myself bang outside the stadium where there's a couple of freestylers. And don't forget Javier. Javier came along too. Over here we've got Barcelona Fan TV. And then some form of sculpture. I'm not too sure it's meant to be. And I don't think we're meant to either. It's art. You choose who you want it to be. In the background, I could hear a band. I've gone to that band and we're going to look at the band. Let's check out the band. <laughs> Top stuff, gents. Where are we going? Access 5. Not too sure where that is, but Gate 96. I've seen a Gate 96. And on route to Gate 96, I've just been given some Barcelona branded Smint. Lovely. Would you believe it? Gate 96. Let's go in. And to go in, we need a ticket, don't we? And the cost of that ticket is £60.23. <laughs> 
Fabub! So first job is to hunt out where I can actually collect my food from. Apparently it's at Bocca236. So it checks out. Bocca236. Although to be fair, I thought I was meant to be skipping the queues. There are no queues, but I've got my Catalan sausage and a drink that's definitely not Dr. Pepper. And after exchange rates, this tends to £8.42. I've worked some Tommy K and mustard on there and I'll let you know how this sausage went down at the end of the video. Right, let's find my seat. VIP balcony seats. Mm, I don't think I booked VIP. Bocca244. This is 240 to 250. It certainly doesn't look VIP down there. Well, let's go anyway. Would you believe it? We've arrived. Bocca244. And there is my stairway to heaven. And so as we head up these stairs, I'm going to check out the new camp or the camp new for the very first time. <laughs> How many people here is there? Anyway, I'm gonna find my seat down this row here. There we go, I found said seat. I'm in the yellow. And it is quite clear from early doors that Justin for stewards at the Camp Nou is not a thing. Absolutely not. I always thought waving a flag was easy, but it looks like there's some technique going on here. The lower circle behind this guy is where the hardcore are, so uh, we'll be getting plenty of them tonight. And up there, nosebleeds, the famous screen. And I think just to the left of that, that's where they whack the away fans. We've actually got one of these screens just behind me. Sensational. In the top comments, they was asking for a Spanish Charlie. I think this might be it. He's got his ankles out. It's gotta be him. But this gaff, what a gaff. It's just massive. Absolutely massive. Down in front, we've got a drum. And Eduardo's placing a bet. He's looking for the goal scorer markets. Messi first score. I don't think it's going to work, mate. It's, it's not going to work. One thing I noticed about the seat numbers that come new, they're not all next to each other. As you can see here, the evens are very much in one place. Quite similar to how we have our houses in England. This is what happened when Espanyol came out on the pitch for a warm-up. <laughs> Oh, Gabriella's here. Those leggings, they're just doing it for me. They really do. So this moment, I realised the corner flag girth is... It's a chipolata. A Catalonian sausage at best. I did expect more from the camp now. I really did. Hola, donde estas? Estoy el empate delantera. Huh? Hola. And they're no different in Spain. Miguel down the front. He's got a big one. Pass it on. Es un enorme. It might be a terrible night on his screen, but they've got this down to a T. Bongo cam is my new favourite thing. What about the pelota cam? This is also entertaining. English clubs, take note, take note. Now Messi's left, but they've still got some names here. To Stegen, PK, Alba, Busquets is still here. They've got a new name down there as well. Akamak. Ilias Akamak. Never seen him before. The story checks out. It's his debut tonight. We're about to witness the new era. Will he be as prolific as Messi? We've well, not got too much catching up to do, to be fair. As the flags continue to fly, both teams are out. We are moments away from kickoff. <laughs> Really feeling out down here now. Drum man's been replaced by Hype Man. Basically the Hans Zimmer of Barcelona. It's really good to see him in action. As he waves his arms and chants and he tells you what chant to chant. You chant the chant that he tells you to chant. And then he might switch it up and give you another chant to chant and you chant that chant. Kick off. <laughs> Well, we got an upgrade. Hype Man's on the mic now. Is this thing on? It's not working. He's going to have to get back to chanting. Jump up and down and chant. I mean, you got this mic. We've got to get it working because I think that's going to really set things off. What is it? Wireless? It's got batteries in it. The Bluetooth not on. Need some more snare in your headphones. You've got no headphones. It's a mic. Cowbell? Treble? Actually, I know what it is. It's the flux capacitor. Hey, it's Xavi. First game in charge. And I actually put these tickets before he came back. So I'm glad he's here. Hopefully, he's hyped things up a little bit. <laughs> I'm happy to say, now the game's kicked off, the stadium certainly filled out a bit. Hopefully the atmosphere will perk up now. It's quite clear that not everyone's going to perk up though. Not everyone. I've got to say, it hasn't felt like a derby, but one late challenge and suddenly we're there. <laughs> If this is Twitter, the Michael Jackson popcorn gift would be fantastic, but I've actually found some real popcorn. Get a little bit feisty. <laughs> So it's time to show who they really are. The Catalan flags are out in force. 18 minutes gone, it's still nil-nil. And I'm getting to watch players like PK. So Shakira said hello. I'm watching Busquets, part of one of the best midfield trios of all time. Alongside Xavier and Iniesta. We've got Jordi Alba. He's part of the furniture. Then we've got Ilias Akimak. Yep. For those that are looking for the mosh pit, it's just down below. It's all fun and games until Miguel gets an elbow to the eye. Now, I did have a fantastic view, but a Spanish Declan Rice has literally just sat down in front of me. You're right, mate. Let's party. Now, not much has happened, but Espanol could have easily gone one nil up. <laughs> That, my friends, is all I got for a first half. I didn't come in for a nil-nil, so hopefully we see some goals. To the right of me, Julie's got a ham sandwich out. Very nice, very nice. I've just taken a photo of the football, the football from the Instagram. You can follow me in there if you want. At half-time, I don't see many groundsmen keeping the beautiful game looking beautiful. But what I do see is the subs keeping warm. Might be the second half will be a right drumming. Because right now it's been flat. And just when I thought this screen couldn't go any more 90s, I feel like it's gone early 90s, VHS style. I reckon you can watch the Goonies on that. Talking of the 90s, Spanish Declan Rice didn't return, but this has. Looks like the 91 away kit. Oh, it's special. And would you believe it? That 15 minutes went quick. Kick off for the second half. <laughs> And Barca come out of the traps quick, real quick. Yes. <laughs> Not that we saw it, but Memphis Depay has just gone down in the box. Penalty to Barca. And he's going to get up and take it himself. <laughs> That's
That's one nil to the Barcelona. The part dispatching. <laughs> Couple of subs with a digital subs board. It's the very minimum I'd expect from La Liga. As I jump on my phone, I realise a lot of you being commenting. You always want me to put you in the video, so hopefully you see your comment. There's this one in particular. I put this in the video. Pineapple belongs on pizza. Mate, I've already done it. Oh yeah, I forgot this was a derby. <laughs> and jump. <laughs> His little joke apart with the misses. Quadruple. I gotcha. See you tomorrow. It did make me feel I'm never at the football this late normally. The best this goal of the night goes to Frankie Dion. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn Lino. Is he part of the family? I'm not sure, to be honest. You do find Mediterranean countries do seem to be a little bit more chilled, so they might not look like they're part of the family, but they certainly are. Oh, and hello, Philip. How are you? So I mentioned the lower circle is for the hardcore. A lot of them don't even watch the game. We've got Flagman here with great technique. We mentioned the debut in Ilias Akamak. He's, uh, he's not on now. He's a 19 year old Moroccan guy by the name of Eza Zuli. Remember the name? Yes. Yeah, number 33. Only his third game for the club. Keep an eye out, my friends. Keep an eye out. So from one that's starting his career to one that's at the other end of it is Sergio Busquets. So composed. A pleasure to watch him live. Things could be about to get nervy here. Espanyol with a free kick. <laughs> that one just hitting the outside of the post there. But as we move on, we've got an injury down here. Referee ignoring it as Espanyol go on the attack. If this ends in a goal, this place is going to go livid. <laughs> Another one, it's the post. Uh, literally knocking on the door. Barca fans, meanwhile, not happy at all. But the mood quickly changes. <laughs> so it's another 45 minutes up in this second half. 1-0 to the Barca. They're minutes away from taking three points. Xavi returning to the club as manager. Can he get his first win? Yeah, come on, you know the score. <laughs> Love it. Get your scarves out. Take your selfies. Wave your flags. It's a new era at Barcelona. It starts now. There's no point in looking at the past. And you can really see they're bringing the youth through. It's just going to take a little bit of time. I'm confident Barcelona can be one of the dominant forces in Europe. And yeah, I'd wave my scarf to that if I had one. It's like one of the hype men are getting a shirt. Lovely. The regulars are on their way out. But for me, I'm just going to soak this in for a little bit. So why we do that? Do we write this experience? I think we should. Let's. All right. So we're going to start things off as usual with atmosphere. How was it? It was good, but frustratingly not as good as I thought it would be. It's just missing that little edge, but it's very high still. It was decent. Not that I knew any of the songs apart from one. Yeah, the people down the front kept things going, but you just lack that edge. Still, it's the best atmosphere I've been part of this season, but it's not going to get the five stars. Just below, four and a half. Next up, we're talking facilities. How was it at the Camp Nou? Well, a lot of people told me before I went, it's probably not going to be as good as I expect. And to those people, I say shut up because it was absolutely wonderful. Sure, it's not new and shiny and everything like that, but it is absolutely magnificent. It's huge. The sheer scale of it is absolutely crazy. And I think it's perfect for the football. So for me... Five stars every time. Next up, we're talking food and drink in the stadium, that is. If we're talking about tapas, that'd be five stars all day. But inside the stadium, how was my Catalan sausage? Well, a little bit gristly and a little bit dry as well. It was okay. It was a nice flavour, but yeah, as I say, a bit dry. And of course, we're giving them an opportunity to boost their score a little bit, but they had no Dr. Pepper as well. So overall, for me, the food and drink was... Uh, Three. Three stars. Finally, we're talking cost. How was it? Well, we spent loads getting here, didn't we? But it's all about what we spent at the stadium in and around it. It was uh, 60 quid for the ticket, which I think was, I don't know, actually a bit cheaper than I expected. I got to see some world-class players and I got to see a world-class stadium as well. It's one of those ones that you put on your bucket list. You pay for that, don't you? I guess the food and drink was a little bit expensive for what it was. Actually, considering who it is, where we are and the level we're at, you're not going to break the bank to experience it. So for me, quite decent. Four stars. So overall, that gives Barcelona a total of 16.5. A very decent score, but we can't break that score this season, can we? They go top of the league based on atmosphere alone. That's our goal difference, isn't it? But just looking at that table, if you can't afford to get over to Spain and, and visit Barcelona, just go to Coventry. Because according to our ratings, it's just as good. They do lovely steak pies as well. But this isn't about Coventry, this is about Barcelona. And it took me until this moment to find someone with a Messi shirt. Do they still love him? Some do, obviously. You can't not. As I head down
down to get a different view of the stadium, I'll find a souvenir. I'm going to take that. Yeah, lovely. And I'll give them a souvenir as well. I'll stick that sticker there and say, Camp New, you've been tagged. Tick that one off. And if you want to grab some stickers of your own, you can head out to the link in the description. It's netbackagain.com. And you'll be helping support the channel and spreading the word at the same time too. So as I do one last pound of one of the best stadiums I've ever been to, I say goodbye and make my way down the steps and head out of the emergency exit. Look, I can read Spanish now. This was good. Experiencing different cultures. I want to do more of this. It's just not that easy. So until the next international on the road, I say thank you so much for watching. If you can support this one, that'd be much, much appreciated. Drop a like on the video. We're always after 10,000 likes. It's not easy, but I know we can do it. If you're new to the channel and you want to binge, check out the On The Road playlist. And if you want to see more in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when a new video is out. My name's Smith. This has been On The Road, and I'll see you in the next one.